Thought I'd do a short video on our wildfire situation right now in Montana. Today is August 1st, 2021, and there are quite a few fires burning in the west and several in Montana. Fortunately, there's not a fire near us right now. The nearest fire is about 15 miles north of us. That's the Harris Fire. I think it's about 27,000 acres. There are several other fires um, burning around different parts of the state, and I did hear that there were 15 to 20 structures lost last night or today in one of those fires. So it's definitely definitely a concern. And um, right now things are just super dry. It's been really, really hot for several weeks now. It's very unusual to be that hot for that long here. Um, of course, the yard is irrigated, so it's green, but everything else is really just bone dry. You can see there's quite a bit of smoke in the air. So this year, I bought a fire pump and some fire hose and some other parts so that we could have our own fire suppression system here at the house. We're about six or seven miles from the nearest volunteer station and you know we're 35 miles outside of Helena so we're pretty far from really getting a rapid response so I wanted something here so that I could put out a fire or pre-wet the area before a fire came and basically have some gear here so that if I needed to I could actually protect the place from a wildfire. So what I have is about 650 feet of inch and a half jacketed fire hose and I've kind of got that laid out so that it's ready to go. Basically all I need to do is start up the pump. So here's kind of the end of one line of inch and a half hose. There's a nozzle on the end of that obviously. And I do have another 100 foot roll of hose if I needed to add to that I can. That hose right there is plenty to take care of this building and the house and that small cabin there. If I need to go further, I can add on, but the more hose you have out, the heavier it is, the harder it is to move around. So I decided to have that amount out right now. Down here at the creek, we'll go down there in a minute, but I've got a gated Y there so that I can have a secondary hose in that area so if I need to protect the fire pump or the little cabin that's down there I've got another length of hose and another nozzle right there so we'll go down there look at that and then fire up the pump and do some tests so here we are down at the creek area and you can see the secondary hose that I have set up there in the gated Y so I can switch water to one or the other or run both you can just see how dry it is. Grass is just all dead and bone dry. We've tried to do what we can lately for some fire mitigation. Cut the grass low. We have moved some of the wooden materials away from the shop. And the house is really clean around the house. But um, this area really needs a lot more work. You can see I've got quite a bit of brush, wood, things like that stored here. The underpinning on the cabin is really not ideal at all for fire mitigation. So there's a lot of work that could be done here, but we'll do that as we get time. But, but now I'm going to go ahead and go down to the pump, show you the pump, and then we'll start to put out some water. So here we are down at the creek. And there's the pump sitting on a little footbridge. Got it screwed down there so that it won't slide off. It's also attached in such a way that I can pick the pump up and move it if I need to. So here in the creek I have the two inch suction line and a foot valve and strainer. And that's full of water right now. The pump housing is full of water and the first 30 feet or so of line is still full of water. So the pump is ready to go. It's already primed, ready to start. And I keep it that way so that it can be started quickly. 
So what I have here is a Honda GX160 high pressure water pump. Really good pump. It started the first try. I've never had any problem starting this pump. And so yeah, we'll go ahead and crank it up right now and do some tests with the hose. So that's it for our fire suppression system. It sounds like we may be getting some rain tomorrow, hopefully. We definitely need rain. There's a really bad drought right now and there's a pretty big hay shortage. I'm getting a little bit concerned. I may have trouble getting hay this fall. But um, yeah, I just wanted to do a quick video on fire suppression and what we have set up here. Like I say, we've got a lot more mitigation things that we could do to better protect the area. But um, I feel good at least having this system here that I can um, put out some pretty serious water if I need to. So if there's a fire here and they have an evacuation, Terry will leave, but I'm going to stay here. I'm not going to evacuate. Over the years, we've had to evacuate a couple of different times. 2007, we had to evacuate from our other house. And I decided after that that I wouldn't evacuate. And that's going to be dependent on each person's position, obviously, what, what they have for protection, how defensible their place is. I feel like this place is really defensible, and I've decided I'm going to stay here if there's a forest fire and, and there's an evacuation in the area. So that's all I have for you today.